Good day, viewers, and welcome to your best learning hub for the sciences, Jalo Science Academy. I am Mohamed Yero Jalo. And in this tutorial, I'll be taking you through your physics. I'll be looking at the equations on radioactive decay as per demand by some of our viewers. They've been sending me messages via Telegram, via WhatsApp, that I should derive the equations on radioactive decay. In the very first case, I want to start with half-life. What is half-life? Half-life, which you can refer to as T-half. Half-life is the time taken for half the original amount of a substance to decay. Let's say, for example, you have n number of atoms the time it will take for these number of atoms to become half this original amount that's what we refer to as half-life and the time it will also take for this amount that you've arrived at to also become half in original amount and this one also becoming half the original amount of this this is what we refer to as half-life so from this to this the time, we call it half-life. From this quantity to this quantity, it's also half-life. From this quantity to this quantity is half-life. So this is what we mean by half-life, the time it will take for the original amount of a substance to decay into half its original size or its actual size. That's what half-life is. For us to get the radioactive equations, then we need to consider a particular atom decay. So we're going to consider a decay curve. So let's say this is a decay curve here. This end we have the number of atoms, and here we have the time it takes. So let's say when this curve is plotted, these are the points that we arrive at. At this point, the original number of atoms, and here you have the time t1. Then when the atoms decrease to half, then you have the time becoming t2. And when the atom further decreased by half, you have the time becoming T3. So this is a radioactive curve. Now, if we want to find the gradient of this curve, what we do, we, we can find it at one point. So let's say we want to get the gradient at this point here. So the gradient of this point is going to be the derivative of this curve. And the derivative of this curve is delta N over delta T. That's the change in the vertical axis over the runaway axis or the horizontal axis. So this is going to give us the gradient of this curve. Now, getting the equation, let's say here, this is the gradient, delta N over delta T, and this is going to be proportional so the number of particles n. So this proportionality, we can get rid of it and we introduce a constant of proportionality, okay? Which we refer to as the decay constant. So delta n over delta t will be equal to lambda n. So lambda here is the decay constant. Why did we say it is proportional? Because at a certain time, this original is going to decrease into half the size it was that is at an arbitrary time so we consider this to be a proportionality being that it is decreasing so what we do we are going to negate it because the negative tells you the quantity is decreasing so we can rearrange this and then we change these notations so these notations here we see dn over dt is equal to negative lambda n. 
okay? So with this that we have, what happens here, we can rearrange this and we say dn over n, meaning we bring the n down and we bring this one up, is equal to negative lambda dt. So with this that we've arrived at, what do we do? Because we've seen delta, so that tells us it is differentiation because for us to get the gradient, we differentiated. And for us to come back to the original point where we are, to get the equation, we have to undo the differentiation. And to undo the differentiation, we integrate because integration is the opposite of differentiation. We say integration is anti-differentiation. So this one can be written as 1 over n dn is equal to negative lambda dt. So what we do next is we are going to integrate. And to integrate this, what we do is I'll be using definite integral, not indefinite. So I'll be integrating this between n and n naught. So it is 1 over n dn is equal to the integral of negative dt. So what we do here is this is going to be between 0 and the time t. Between 0 and the time t. So for us to do this now, what happens? So this will now be here. We say natural log of n between n and n naught will be equal to negative lambda t between 0 and t. So what we do next is we're going to input our values. So if we bring n in, we get natural log n, and we subtract this from it minus natural log n naught, we equate it to. If we bring this one, if we bring this in, we get negative lambda t, and if we input 0, it's also 0. So what we do, we have two, we have two natural logs here, so we are going to apply the laws of logarithms. The natural log of A minus natural log of B is the natural log of A over B. Okay? So here we can say the natural log of N over N naught. We equate it to negative lambda T. Now, natural log is the same as log to the base E. So what we do... If we take E here, and we take E here, so this and this will cancel. We are left with what N over N naught is equal to E to minus lambda T. So we can express this over 1 and we cross multiply. 1 multiplied by N is N is equal to N naught multiplied by E to the power lambda T. So this becomes your radioactive decay law so this is the decay law okay this becomes your decay law so this is how you can arrive at this equation so next we are going to look at how to get the half-life so you can take a screenshot of this and then you practice because i'll be cleaning this to work out the formula for the half-life. Okay, so this being our decay law, in most books you can also refer to it as activity, wherein this is the new number of atoms now that you have. This is the original amount of atoms that you started with. This is the decay constant, and this is the time taken, okay? So for us to um, uh, look at it from another perspective, is you can also write this as, that is A is equal to A naught E to the power negative lambda T. This can also be the same equation, okay? That is just changing N for A. So now we look at the half-life. 
Of course, half-life can be derived from this formula, that is n is equal to n naught e to the negative lambda t. We said half-life is the time taken for the original amount of a substance to decompose into half. And this is the original amount. So we can say n naught over 2 is equal to n naught of e to the power negative lambda t. So what we do in this case for us to get rid of this, n naught and n naught will cancel. And if n naught cancels, we have half is equal to e to negative lambda t. So being that we're looking at half-life, this t can be referred to here as half, okay? Now we have e here, and this e is the opposite of logarithm. So what we do, we can take logarithm here, logarithm of half is equal to, if we take the log here, log e to negative t half, this will cancel. So we now have what? log half is equal to negative lambda t half. So this from the laws of log is log 1 minus log 2. But log 1 is 0, so this is equal to negative lambda t half. So we get here negative log of 2 is equal to negative lambda t half. So this negative sign and this negative sign will cancel. Complete it up here. So what happens then? It is t that we want. So we have log 2 is equal to lambda t half. So we can divide here by lambda, divide here by lambda. Lambda and lambda cancels. Then we have t half. So t half is equal to log 2 over n. So this formula is, we can use this t half and write it as a Greek alphabet tau is equal to natural log 2 over lambda. So this is the formula for the half-life. So this is the time it will take for the original amount of a substance to decay into half its size. Of course, thank you very much for watching this video. You can like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to be notified each time we release a new video. You can also like our Facebook page, that's Jalo Science Academy, you can find us on Facebook, or you can also follow us on TikTok, Jalo Science Academy on TikTok, and you get interesting and intriguing videos or you can send a telegram message to the number popping up on the screen there so that we can add you to our telegram channel wherein you can pose your questions your assignments and we help you solve them once again thank you very much for patronizing with us